What's up everybody, it's Nezzy and we're back. We're gonna be doing a Rustler two-wheel drive, Rustler four by four comparison. That's the two-wheel drive, that's the four by four. I got this off my buddy Lance. It was all beat up, it had no electronics. I bought him a Red Cat Piranha in trade. So I got these Dura Tracks, Pistol Street, well not street, uh, they're kind of dirt tires. Well, I bought them and I bought a new body for it. Uh, I'm running a 5,000 milliamp 100C three cell pack. I got the Spectrum 3S BLX system in it. Turn that on. This one's got the stock Valinian 3500 kV brushless motor, 60 amp ESC from Traxxas. And these are Red Cat tires from the uh, Backdraft or something. Uh, I forget what, what they're off of, but they're really old. They had them since Nessie's RC. Uh, world so I got some rpm upgrades the wheelie bar so on and so forth We're just gonna do a quick comparison of these two price points The VXL Rustler is $329 without the batteries um, I got a lot of upgrades in this I got the rear shock tower rpm I got the rpm front bumper I got the a arms So it's all Upgraded with the stock system. I gear up. I believe I'm running a 31 tooth pinion or something like that And uh, yeah, the spectrum system in there. So Here we go All right, both 110 scales. So the Russell 404 brushed edition is 300 the brushless is like four and change 429 So it's a, a lot more money than the tool drive These tires are a little oversized for the rustler, but Speed-wise, 3,500 kV Valenian brushless motor. Uh, the other one is the, the Russell 4x4 has got the BLX 3S system. That's a 3,200 kV, so a little slower. Also, the gearing is... a lot higher on the Russell two-wheel drive. Tires are kind of small, but they work. Yeah, it's a lot slower. It's not slow though. It's pretty fast. If you're wondering which one you should buy, honestly, the two-wheel drive is a classic. If you're in a two-wheel drive, the Russell's a great choice, but if you want to go out bashing and climbing hills and things like that, I'd get the 4x4 to be honest. It's pretty fast. It's the first time I ran this since I upgraded it. Or should I say fixed it. Those tires are small but they work. Shout out to my man Tom Trax. He does a lot of comparison videos. Check out his channel. He, lo he loves running his vehicles on the street. Doing some speed blow-bys. It's pretty sick. So check his channel out. Tom Tracks. This thing's ballsy. That little BLX system's sweet. Also, it's harder to put drive one-handed with the Traxxas remotes because they're a lot bigger. It's hard to get that thumb on the steering wheel. Can't wait for the weather to warm up so I can get some good footage for you guys. I ordered some more paddle tires. For the 10th scale vehicles and also I ordered a set for the 8th scale 6S armor vehicles. They're actually Traxxas paddle 1 8th scale tires. Sweet!
This thing is fast. I can't even do full throttle, otherwise the nose will just pop right up and flip over. So in my opinion, honestly, I'd probably end up, but for a little more budget, get the two-wheel drive if you really can't afford it. But if you can't afford it, get the Russell 4x4 VXL. Because you get what you pay for. Traxxas is really, really expensive sometimes, but they're kind of top-notch. Arma is top-notch, but a little more affordable. I'm an Arma fan. I am a Traxxas fan, but not as big as an Arma fan. I do love my Traxxas vehicles, don't get me wrong. Like, I got the X-Max, I got the Russell 4x4, I got the Russell two-wheel drive, I got the Latrax Tetons, I got the E-Revo VXL, mini E-Revo that is. I'm getting the XRT. So, this is just a little parking lot rip video just so I can have a chat with you guys. It's kind of miserable out. It's like raw. It's wet, it's cold. RCs do not like this weather. This handles really good with these tires. So, anyway guys, I figured I'd do a little comparison and parking lot rip with these two awesome vehicles from Traxxas. So, $439, $329 or $39, so it's like $100 less. But, hey, I mean, it's your preference. I choose the 4x4, personally. The other one's a little more budget-friendly, but, hey. All right, guys, hope you've enjoyed. Remember to smash that thumbs-up button, subscribe, leave comments. I'll see you in the next episode of Nezzy's RC. Stay tuned for some awesome bike trails we found so once it warms up a little bit we're gonna get out there and the dirt dries out a little bit you know we're gonna be out there ripping these things jumping them 90 feet in the air all right guys see you in the next episode of nezzy's rc